The Battle of White Horse, was a battle during the Korean War Hill in the Iron Triangle, formed by Pyongyang at its peak in Jivuo and Chowon up at its base, a strategic transportation route in the central region of the Korean Peninsula. Bengbergoji or White Horse was the crest of a 395-meter forested hill mass that extended in a northwest to southeast direction for about two miles, part of the area controlled by the US-9 Corps, and considered an important outpost hill with a good command over the Yokokchon Valley, dominating the western approaches to Chowon. Loss of the hill would force 9 Corps to withdraw to the high ground south of the Yokokchon in the Chowon area, denying the 9th Corps use of the Chowon road net and would open up the entire Chowon area to enemy attack and penetration. During 10 days of battle, the hill would change hands 24 times after repeated attacks and counterattacks for its possession. Afterwards, Bengba Goji looked like a threadbare white horse, thence its name of Bengba, meaning a white horse. Chapter 1 Background On October 3, 1952, a defecting lieutenant from the Chinese People's Volunteer Army 340th Regiment, 114th Division under interrogation revealed that an attack on White Horse was imminent. Being corroborated by other intelligence, 9 Corps reinforced the ROC 9th Infantry Division with 22 tanks from the 53rd Tank Squadron, and the U.S. 73rd Tank Battalion C Company, artillery, rocket launchers, and anti aircraft weapons to be used in a ground role. 9th Division Commander Major General Kim Jong Oh stationed the 30th Regiment under Regimental Commander Imik Sun in charge of the left flank and the 29th Regiment under Commander Kim Bonkiel in charge of the right flank on the threatened hill and held the 28th Regiment under Commander Lee Ju Il in reserve. On the flanks of White Horse, he positioned the tanks and anti aircraft guns to cover the valley approaches. Searchlights and flares were distributed to provide illumination at night and a flare plane was made available to supply additional light on call during the hours of darkness. From the 5th Air Force came extra air strikes against enemy artillery positions adjacent to White Horse. Chapter 2 – Battle On 9 October an intensive air raid was carried out on several places around Bengma Goji where the PVA were anticipated to assemble. The PVA responded by opening the floodgates of the Pongliho Reservoir, which was located about seven miles north of the hill, evidently in the hope that the Yokokshan which ran between the Rock 9th and the U.S. 2nd Infantry Division would rise sufficiently to block reinforcements during the critical period. Simultaneously, they threw a battalion-sized force at Hill 281, two miles southeast of White Horse across the valley, to pin down the French battalion astride the hill and to keep the 2nd Division occupied. Before the night was over six additional companies joined in the action. The French held firm and inflicted heavy casualties upon the attackers. As a diversion to the main attack, it proved effective but expensive. At 1915, the PVA 340th Regiment sent four companies up to the northwest end of the White Horse Hill complex to engage the 10th Company and its supporting forces in an attempt to secure a breakthrough. At 2 o'clock the following morning, 4B-29 strategic bombers dropped 1,000-pound bombs on Hajime Dong, and an assortment of 81 artillery guns dealt intensive heavy fire, nevertheless, the PVA breakthrough widened further, though suffering an estimated 500 casualties the first night. Disregarding the heavy losses, the Chinese committed the remnants of the original two battalions and reinforced them with two fresh battalions from the same division the following day. Cutting off a Rock Company outpost, the PVA pressed on and forced the elements of the Rock 10th Company to withdraw from the crest. Less than two hours after the loss of the peak, the 2nd and 3rd Battalions of the ROC 28th Regiment mounted a night attack that swept at the PVA out of the old ROC positions by 2305. Again the Chinese losses were heavy and a prisoner later related that many of the companies committed to the attack were reduced from 190 to 200 to less than 20 men after the second day of fighting. With such serious losses, the PVA switched its attack forces from the 340th Regiment, to the 334th Regiment, reserving the 342nd Regiment for the assault on October 9. 
elements of the 342nd fought their way to the crest, during the afternoon of the 9th of October, only to lose it to a ROC 28th Regiment counterattack that night. On the 10th of October the still fresh 29th Regiment made a counterattack and seized White Horse and the 28th Regiment, was immediately assigned to defend the right flank of the hill. The same day at 4.30, the PVA 342nd Regiment recaptured the hill in an attack on the ROC 29th Regiment, that had been defending the main peak, in two hours, though, the hill was seized back in an instant counter-attack, only to be lost again at 8.15. In the tiresome war of attrition, the UN forces relied on their overwhelming advantage in artillery support and close-range air support. The UN forces apparently were fortunate, for a Chinese prisoner later related that 5th Air Force planes had caught elements of the 335th Regiment, 112th Division, in an assembly area north of Hill 395, inflicting heavy casualties upon the regiment, and had delayed its commitment to the attack. Regardless of casualties, the PVA continued to send masses of infantry to take the objective. On White Horse, the PVA kept funneling their combat troops into the northern attack approaches where 8th Army artillery, tanks, and air power would wreak havoc. The Chinese determination to win White Horse made sitting ducks out of their infantry as the 9th Corps defenders saturated the all-out assaults with massed firepower of every caliber. By the 12th of October there was a break in the bitter struggle. The 1st Battalion of the 30th Regiment struck out from the attack line. The 29th Regiment, which had mounted a counter-attack four hours before the attack by the battalion, was stalled just 40 meters, from the PVA position. When no progress was made in the two-hour attack, the 2nd Battalion was sent in on the right flank for a pincer movement. The 3rd Company which was in the vanguard of the 1st Battalion was not making sufficient advances because of PVA resistance, so the commander of the 1st Company, close behind the 3rd Company, was ordered to launch an overriding attack and succeeded in approaching the attack line. White Horse was recaptured at 13.20, after five hours of intense battle. On 13 October under close-range air cover by 141 warplanes, the 28th Regiment was committed to Nacton Ungassian, but the strong PVA resistance forced it to withdraw to White Horse, six hours after the attack on the ridge had begun. On October 14, the 29th Regiment executed another attack, and at 10.40, the 22nd Battalion of the Regiment routed the PVA troops from Nacton Ungsian, thus seizing full control of White Horse. Chinese sources claim that the 38th Army was ordered during the night of the 14th to abandon the action due to the start of the Battle of Triangle Hill which the PVA was determined to win. Chapter 3, Aftermath The 38th Army committed four regiments, the 334th, 339th, 340th, and 342nd. The Chinese claimed they had suffered a total of 6,700 casualties. South Korean sources claim that the 38th Army committed seven regiments out of its total of nine regiments and sustained a total of 14,332 casualties. The ROC 9th Infantry Division committed three regiments, the 28th, 29th, and 30th and suffered a total of 3,422 casualties, plus over 400 more casualties in the 1st Battalion of the 30th Regiment. Chinese sources claim that the 9th Infantry Division committed four regiments and suffered a total of 9,400 casualties with almost 7,000 identified deaths. Both the 38th Army and the 9th Infantry Division, after suffering heavy casualties, had to withdraw to the rear. Following the battle, the ROC 9th Division gained the nickname White Horse Division top the U.S. 5th Air Force made a total of 745 sorties and poured more than 2,700 bombs of various kinds, together with over 358 napalm bombs, onto the hill. Chinese forces rained no less than 55,000 shells during the nine-day battle period and the South Korean forces fired over 185,000 shells. Nine sets of remains of Korean War MIA servicemen were discovered at Arrowhead Hill, aka Hill 281 during minesweeping operations between October and November 2018. 
Arrowhead Hill had previously been selected for both Koreas to jointly conduct a pilot remains recovery project.